Ladies and gentlemen, not sure if you heard, but we got an all new dry fit, high performance, long sleeve shirt. Dude, these things are awesome. They're super nice and lightweight, breathable. They say America on the back. You gotta love that. These are available on the website, but we got more for you. With every shirt drop, we like to throw in a black shirt. So for that one, we have our vintage McFarlane shirt. This is kind of one of our first retro looking shirts. You know, we got the neon colors on there. Went with Cletus McFarlane on the back. Well, we figured you guys would like it. I think the design, just, it came out pretty neat. Last but not least, guys, my personal favorite in this shirt drop, we got a hovercraft shirt. Check it out. Boom. Now listen, I know it's a lot of purple. This is a lot of purple. But we got the old palm tree on the front. Look at that. Then we got the hovercraft. We got the scat on the back. We'll point out where the jade is. Yeah, you flying. can see jade soaring. What better shirt than one with a scat hovercraft on the back? You got jade flying through the air like a bald eagle. And then last but not least, guys, to go with these new shirts, we release a new sticker pack. And my personal favorite in this one is the duct tape. So, you know, you come over here. Guys, look at how useful these duct tape stickers can be. We don't even need tape on Ruby's bumper anymore. Use the small ones for small repairs. Even dress up your engine bay. Got a whole bunch of stickers on here. Certified redneck engineer, James get the toolbox, Cletus logo, a couple more things of duct tape, and the Do It For America logo. Guys, all this stuff available at CletusMcFarland.com. Grab it after the video. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Cletus McFarland YouTube channel. All right, guys, so I'm so confident in the C8. You know, this rear-wheel drive system really rips on this thing. It's impressed the hell out of me. Even launching it on wet concrete, this thing freaking rips. So I asked RG if he could bring out his all-wheel drive R8 so we could launch them next to each other and see how it looks. Because, I mean, I'm so confident in the rear-wheel drive on the C8, dude. It's so good. So we're going to do a couple rips here and uh just see how they compare what's up buddy what's up you always pick on corvettes i do actually <laughs> so that's bone stock though bone stock, is bone stock all wheel drive what year 2017 2017 audi r8 let's see the results all right i'm gonna clean my tires off real quick since i'm you know rear wheel drive okay. I don't know how I'm gonna pull both paddle shifters. Let's just do it like this. That'll work. That will work. I love that clutch drop feature. You just pull in the freaking both paddle shifters and bam, you're off. All right, so right on go. Ready? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, you have to admit we left together. That was pretty impressive actually for a Corvette. Not bad. You want to run it back the other way? Yeah. Damn, that was pretty close. We were actually like close, close. Are right, you ready? All right. Three, two, one, go. drive car hanging with an all-wheel drive car okay i'm just trying to prove to the world how good the c8 actually is and i feel like that was the best way to do it shout out to showtime speedway for letting us use the shutdown of their track super nice guys for all you all-wheel drive guys out there just remember a properly set up rear wheel drive car is pretty damn good too all right buddy i'll see you later got you a little something in here oh boys that's a nice car right there. That's a nice car, nice car. Guys, we are putting freaking racing slicks on the Dale truck today because we're taking this thing on Rocky Mountain Race Week 2.0. So we're gonna drag race this thing across the country. We at least need to take it to our local drag strip and see if it can hold up to a couple passes in a row. So what we're gonna do is put some racing slicks on this thing so it has maximum traction. And not only that, if you run a racing slick versus a radial tire, it's a lot easier on the drivetrain. It gives that wheel 
a little bit of shock therapy in there and uh we're putting a slick on the back leaving the radial on the front we're gonna go to the track and send it it's either gonna go or it's gonna break this is only two options it's gonna go or blow brother so we're gonna unload it pull these uh, rear wheels off and get them changed over here we go beef dogs 28 10 and a half 15s scripts on Yep, you know, these are exactly what we run on Leroy and they'll fit right up on those 15 inch wheels that came on the Dale truck. So slap them on, see what we got. Hopefully it doesn't ride weird. It should be about the same height tire, but we're gonna find out, I guarantee. It's crazy how thin these tires are. You know, the speeds we go on them in Leroy, it's kind of sketchy. Hey, where'd your tread go, guy? Last time I did this, these had all the tread. I don't know what happened. I don't know, did we save those though? They don't seem that bad. They're only bad in the center. <laughs> it must have been really high tire pressure. <laughs> yeah, they're not that bad. You know, from here to here, they're worn out. Listen, from I didn't join, out. I didn't buy a NASCAR to win races. I bought it to do the celebration burnouts, okay? Somebody Let's get that, that straight. Truck. Guys, my good friend, Alex Bowman, driver for Hendrix Motorsports, finally sent us a steering wheel for the Dale truck. This is a freaking nice steering wheel. And it actually happens to be the exact same bolt pattern as old Krusty that was in the Dale truck. So we're gonna swap it out and finally have a normal size steering wheel in the Dale truck. Boom, hell yeah, dude. Shout out to Alex Bowman for hooking us up with a wheel. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Sick, man. That looks a little bit more on the right size, James. Yeah, it looks you more see this? Now. And guys, look at this, new shifter. So we bought a transmission for James Drift Car and it came with this Tremec shifter. So we just slapped it in the Dale truck. This old guy is super worn out. I mean, it is probably the jankiest shifter we have in the fleet. And the Dale trucks always just had a very crappy shifter. So excited to have a fresh one in there, especially a Tremec one that's pretty good. So you can actually see James already replaced his shifter. He got an MGW, so. You'll learn more about that soon. Finishing up your nitrous bottle bracket back there, brother. Yeah, putting a bottle in it. Yes, so, sir. So, get it race ready. Gotta be race ready. Got some nitrous ready to roll, baby. Three full bottles. Should we bring some more jets with us to the track? Let's do it about, I mean, it's got a big jet in it. It's got 250 shots. Yeah, I so, mean, it's 900 horsepower. And it's dry. <laughs> so like- Spicy it's gonna, unit alert. It's gonna respond well to increase the jets. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's, let's show them the tires. Now look, I know you guys are gonna be like, what the hell, that looks kind of weird. Cause that's what we said, but it is what it is. We're going drag racing with a NASCAR, so don't hate. But there you have it. That's you can barely see it with the glare. 28, 10, 5, S is on there. Yeah, honestly, I don't think it looks that bad. No, it, it, the more I look at it, the better it gets. But yeah. When I first put it on, having that big old bubble of a tire back there. Like, yeah, oh, this looks when we first dropped it down, it was kind of like, eh. But whatever you know, we're going drag race that's what you need <laughs> that's what i'm saying so we're gonna take this thing out for a drive right now guys and just kind of wiggle the wheel around make sure this thing drives normal because sometimes it's a little sketchy having a radial tire in the front and then a bias ply tire in the rear you're actually not really supposed to do that but we think it'll be all right for these speeds at least if you did it on leroy or ruby it would be pretty sketchy but we think for the dale truck it should be fine just because it's probably a low 10 second truck dude how sick would it be if it ran a nine on its first day out that would be crazy i would love it to run a nine yeah, but because nine starts rip oh i would love that this thing i mean <laughs> potentially could run an eight one day i don't know it's power to weight dude. it's got it to do it it's just getting it to 60 foot's gonna be the biggest thing i know i know especially with like you know the suspension is in no way shape or form set up to drag race yeah, but we're gonna make it drag race. It's made to turn left. This rear suspension's made to, you know, droop with the truck. <laughs> it mind. does drive straight now really well. Like yeah. I had it in fifth gear the other day when I was driving on a closed course and I was singing it and it was just dead straight, so. Kevin really did his magic Dude, up there, moving. Kevin's right. alignment is on point. So guys, we're gonna go for a drive right now. We just gotta put the shift knob on and, uh, uh, it's somewhere around here. We just gotta put the shift knob on and go take it for a rip, see how it drives with the bias ply on the back. All right. So, as you guys can see too, when we originally bought the truck, they had already cut this hole in here for the T56 because uh, apparently the transmission prior to that sat over here. 
but we are going to figure out a boot for this right now it's open we definitely want to close that up before race week because if we're driving you know 1300 miles or 1400 like it's looking like we're going to want that sealed off so we don't get fumes or you know maybe a fire anything like that in the truck but other than that we're ready to go for a quick rip Yeah. This is great. The other one, I mean, you could literally go like this. You yeah. would miss third and go to fifth because it's so bad. <laughs> so much nine day difference that's what i'm saying it's gonna be at least a half second faster just because of the shifter right? i mean look it's all i mean that's all billet stuff there yeah brother you know there ain't no play anymore once it's that's a neutral i mean that's yeah. a little bit of play but nothing bad overall how do you like the wheel and the, and the shifter steering wheel sick shifter amazing tires feels completely fine i think we're good so. i know i heard some freedom a <laughs> nice car you got there bud like really nice car you see this switch does water pump and fans Get real instant hot. cool down instant cool down yeah all right guys well the dale truck is in drag race mode which is weird to say but uh i think it's gonna be pretty cool i'm excited to see what it'll do at the drag strip i what did it go a 1090 before when we like barely tuned and sketchy swerving all over and now we have a racing slick good shifter a lot of other things that are going to help us along as, as well as kevin will be there so i think things will go significantly better all right guys that's it for the dale truck we are going drag racing tomorrow with it and uh also hoping for a seven second rip but that's it for now thanks for watching do it for dale we'll freaking see you later